Hi right guys, so having given a uh, good review of the Back and Decker Alligator, uh, now I'm afraid it's broken and it's time to fix it. Uh, which is possible. Uh, I've taken all the parts and now I'm going to go through the process of how you would fix yours if you have the same problem. So the problem I had was that the chain was no longer turning, the motor was turning, uh, but it was no longer cutting very well and the chain would sometimes, would sometimes stop. So uh, first of all disconnect it from the mains electricity and uh, we need to dismantle it all. So first of all we remove these two nuts holding the uh, chain cover in place. Uh, force the jaws apart, these fit in the handles for instance. Uh, then you need to get the chain off the cog, push down on this chain guide and you should then be able to lift the chain off the cog and remove the cog. And then remove these three bolts and take off the side cover giving you access to the bolts underneath which also needs to be undone. Remove the two bolts holding the side cover in place, remove that cover, remove the four screws at the top of the electric motor cover, remove the cover, remove these uh, screws in the left hand handle then you can take the top half off and you can remove the bottom and remove this screw here and together with screws here, 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 here and here and one for the cover and two at the front then means you can lift off the rest of the casing just working the wire out of the way and you have to feed the wire through the gap lift it over the motor and you then get access to the motor. Then undo this screw and this screw to unbolt the motor from the case. And then we need to remove these three screws here. Uh, that's a Phillips and that is one of these T-type star connectors so you need to have a good set of screwdriver screws with different uh, star ends and so on on. We can then remove the cover and here's the gears which don't actually look too bad so no real problem with the gears wearing out. Ah, but here we find the problem that the shaft, take the gear out and see, the shaft has become detached from the gear. This looks like it's just pressed in place, which isn't very good. And so we need to find a mechanism to uh, get that to stay a bit more firmly. And what we'll do is drill a hole through the side. Uh, use a cobalt uh, drill bit which is very very uh, strong and hard and try and drill through the side and then put a pin or a screw uh, connecting the gear to the shaft. So there we go with a hole drill through the side like so. Obviously it has to be at an angle so you can get the drill in. Comes in at the other side and uh, what we need to do now is get a uh, either a bolt or a split pin screw just some it will stop it turning fortunately i happen to have a set of roll pins and up there various different sizes but this seems to be about the right size fits into this side here so just a matter of placing that approximately and tapping that in with a hammer so that's the split pin uh, pushed in, splayed out a little bit at both ends and pushed so it's just about below the surface. I uh, could get a little grinding wheel, grind that completely flat. It does poke out one side a bit, again could be grinded off but not too much of a problem and it's a uh, relatively low speed operation. The metal was extremely hard to drill through even with the uh, cobalt drills. I uh, went through a couple of drills, had to keep sharpening them. Uh, did get there in the end all the way through uh, but just be patient and get some good drills and uh, you might need to sharpen up your grip your drills on a uh, grinding wheel a few times such as this and lubricate your drill bits uh, with some uh, coolant and lubricant uh, an easy way to do that is mix uh, a little bit of oil 
where detergent and water mix it all around and forms an emulsion that lubricates and cools at the same time. So keep tipping your drill bit into that and you'll eventually be able to drill through it. So now we'll just reassemble it and check it all works. And of course uh, a little suggestion for Black & Decker. So if they want to improve the strength and reliability of their alligator product then I suggest you manufacture it with uh, a similar, perhaps slightly neater arrangement or uh, mould it all in one piece. So we'll put some graphite grease, or in this case um, molybdenum grease, molly grease, over the gears and over the bearing surfaces and then just reassemble it. And watch, watch to make sure you get the bolts back in place of course. By reassembling the handle make sure that the gears under here line up, there's a little plastic gear uh, in there. Make sure the gears are lined up so that you get the drawers shut when the handles are shut, like so. And don't forget on reassembly to pop the spring back in and also make sure that these little pieces of metal are in place between the two halves of the left hand handle and then you can re once you've popped Pop that screen down into the recess hole over the little plastic stud that's in there. Do that in a minute. Uh, you then uh, can fit the clamping ring in place and the top of top of the motor. So that's it all reassembled. Now's the time to test it. Let's see if it works. And there we are. All back to good working condition again. Okay, thanks for watching. And uh, if you do have the same problem. That's how to fix it. Cheers. Bye.